I'm excited. Thank you for stopping by. I welcome you at BB Impulsor um, channel. But what you're looking at is our latest BB Impulsor 5B printed circuit board kit, which I will be offering hopefully in a few weeks from now. Right now, you're looking at prototype or a test PCB. This is um, how it looks later on. Uh, pro production PCB will look very similar to this. This is my first test PCB and I will be doing some upgrades to it, slight modifications. But basically it will end up looking similar to what it is and it will look like this. You won't have this red button. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, in here, by pushing this button, I can trigger basically a thermal switch, similar to what it will happen when coil gets hot, and that way I can show you what happens. <clears throat> Let's go over the parts which are included in this kit. So uh, this is power plug. Um, I'm gonna be talking more many more times about this kit and showing more uh, videos how to assemble it and everything this is just the first introductory and so in the plug here there is a fuse there's two two fuses one is spare 5 amp uh, circuit doesn't consume more than 5 amp so we have on off switch with LED in here a fan this fan usually installed on the back in exhaust air from the kit, from the housing of where this kit is installed. On the back here, a couple transformers. These are 160 watt, 240 volt each, connected in series. And so it gets around 480, 500 volt. Then it's fed into the um, doubler. I have a two diodes here, one and two, and then capacitor. And uh, this setup uh, doubles the voltage into around uh, 1100 volts. These capacitors are rated for 1100 volts. Slightly they could be charged a little more for a couple seconds. I read the in uh, data sheet from these uh, capacitors. But um, in this setup they don't get charged to 1100 volt they actually get charged to 1050 volt so they are each 150 microfarad as you see there's four of them totaling of 600 microfarad capacitor bank with 1100 volt on this side here i have thyristor this is semicron 400 amps 1.6 kilovolt thyristor the reason why why i'm using this large of a thyristor uh, actually like four times larger than you should use is because with this setup i would like to allow you to uh, first of all the price for it is would be about the same what uh, 100 amp would and the second of all uh, having a stronger one uh, it will be more reliable as one thing second is that you can run not only 0.6 millimeter strip wire coil but also up to one millimeter strip coils in this setup here i do have connected one millimeter strip coil and i will perform tests using this coil but Originally, uh, as a default, I would recommend to use 0.6 millimeter strip coil, 3 inch strip coil on it. Moving along, there is no special parts here. Uh, voltmeter that shows charge of the capacitor bank. There is a 12 volt DC power supply, and this is a low voltage circuit for uh, this pulser. You won't have this. 
I already said that this relay is to shut off the power to the charging circuit anytime uh, this coil triggers. In here you'll have a couple adjustments for your tone, how fast your beep is anytime coil triggers and this adjustment is for your power output. You can adjust between 1.3 Tesla which is 13,000 gas all the way to 2.4 Tesla. This is the back side of the PCB. This is how it looks right now. In some cases where you won't have as much space to place everything, um, you can cut off this part of the board and um, for example, your transformers would be mounted on the bottom of the case and this would be mounted on a wall of your case so you can do that as well i made it so that you can cut off this part of the board if you don't have a space to mount everything let's go ahead and turn it on and start we'll do some tests let's adjust all the way down and turn it on so on the lowest output which is 1.3 tesla this is the pulsation speed about once a second by the way you can increase pulsation you can double the recharge speed by um, adding additional charging capacitor this is 4.7 microfarad 1.5 kilovolt so if you add one more 9.4 i'm sorry uh, you will be able to double the charging speed that's the beauty of this circuit is you can double the charging speed double the pulsation speed without adding additional components into here or replacing anything so that's your lowest and on the highest 2.374 tesla and this is the recharge speed about three to four seconds i'll go ahead and turn it off if you use strip coil which is one millimeter it will be slightly loud um, if you use 0.6 millimeter it will be much more quieter i would recommend using well you're going to be supplied with the coil uh, is if you decide to get a kit from me I will be selling printed circuit board by itself and also with uh, components so your job including the coil will be is to place everything on the board solder it test it and put it into the case let me show you the bottom side of this kit up once again so this kit is much safer than the previous version of the kit because um, the charge into the capacitor bank is magnetically isolated from the main via transformers here Obviously, if you have any exposed wire or brakes or broken anything here that you can um, get to or see any metal, you must uh, repair it or not to use it or contact me to get this repaired. But other than that, uh, even if that happens and you end up using it outdoor, standing barefoot on the wet ground um, and touch the metal, basically touch the hot on this capacitor bank you will not uh, get any shock in fact you won't feel anything because um, you have a magnetic isolation here all right guys if you like the video more information by the way is going to be below the video you can find how to contact me and um, 
I will be making more videos uh, regarding this kit, how to assemble it and many more. So stay tuned, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.